Today, we are going to demonstrate how to perform the turnip peroxidase lab in 96 well plates. First, we will demonstrate range finding with all the materials listed in the lab handouts. Before we begin, you want to label troughs with different dilutions and all the other controls. First, I am going to show you how to set the multi-channel micropipette to the appropriate volume. We are going to add 94 microliters of DI water to the odd number columns. I chose the 20 to 200 microliter pipette. Be sure to lock the micropipette as demonstrated. With the multi-channel micropipette set, I am going to put on the tips and make sure they are on tightly. Then I am going to pipette DI water to all the odd columns. The volume across all tips should appear equal. Since we are dispensing the same liquid, I am not going to change tips each time. After, dispense your tips into the waste jar. Now, I am repeating the same technique, but I am dispensing hydrogen peroxide to the odd-numbered columns. I am showing you how to set the appropriate micropipette to 4 microliters. This time, I am using white tips instead of yellow due to the smaller volume. You should always check to see if the volume across all tips appear equal. Since we've added the hydrogen peroxide and the DI water, we need to add our last control, glycol. Here, using the same micropipette, I am setting the volume to be 2 microliters. Applying the same technique as before, I am dispensing the glycol to the odd columns. Now we are going to add DI water and diluted turnip extract to the even numbered columns. But first, we have to make appropriate dilutions of turnip extract. I am going to show you an example of one. Here I am making a 1 to 2 dilution of turnip extract. Using the yellow micropipette, I set the volume to be 200 microliters to pipette turnip extract in the trough. I am setting the blue micropipette to 400 microliters to dispense DI water. After Gently shake the trough to mix the solutions together. You should be able to do the rest of the dilutions indicated on the protocol using this technique. After making all the diluted turnip extract, I am going to dispense 20 microliters of appropriate dilutions to even columns. A trick that we use is doing 1 to 2 dilution in column 2, 1 to 4 dilution in column 4, and so on. You should change tips each time for best practice. Next. I am using the 80 microliter pipette to dispense DI water to all the even numbered columns.
For the next part, you are going to need a multi-channel pipette and set it to 100 microliters. Ask for a TA help when reading the plates. I am demonstrating how to pipette quickly from even numbered columns to odd numbered columns. Withdraw liquid from column 10 and dispense it into column 9 and so on. You can watch our next video on how to analyze data for all three parts. After determining the best dilution, we are going to test the effect of enzyme concentration. The procedure will be the same as before, but we will prepare troughs with different dilutions of enzyme. On your protocol, there should be a table indicating all the appropriate volume for even numbered columns. I am going to demonstrate an example. I chose the 5 to 50 microliter multi-channel pipette and set it to 5 microliters to pipette 1 to 6 dilution, which is my best dilution that I determined from part 1 into column 2. I then pipette 95 microliters of DI water into column 2 as stated in the protocol. Make sure to change tips each time. All your odd columns will be the same as part 1, which means all the odd columns will have 94 microliters of DI water, 4 microliters of hydrogen peroxide, and 2 microliters of guaiacol. After you are done with all the columns, you will follow the same technique as before and bring it to the plate reader. Don't forget to pipe it fast but accurately. For part 3, we are going to repeat the same procedure as part 1, but this time we are going to use different dilutions of hydrogen peroxide. Prepare 6 troughs labeling them with 0.05% peroxide, 0.01% peroxide, and so on. The protocol will tell you how much of DI water necessary for each dilution. Using your best practice, make 6 diluted peroxide. There should also be a table on your protocol showing which dilution of peroxide goes in which column. Here, I am showing an example of pipetting 4 microliters of 0.05% peroxide into column 1. Fill in the other controls for the rest of odd-numbered columns. For even-numbered columns, you should pipette 80 microliters of DI water and 20 microliters of your best diluted turnip extract, which is 1 to 6 dilution in my case. After you are done with all the columns, you will follow the same technique as before and bring it to the plate reader. Again, pipette fast but accurately. This concludes our lab for today. Don't forget to click on our next video to find out how we analyze data.